Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Megan. I'm Grandpa. I'm Tracy. I'm Matt. I'm Joel. And we're some of the veggie boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of things on the farm. But one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. I'd like to start this video off by saying thank you for 50,000 subscribers. When I started my channel, I, I didn't really think I'd get to 50,000 subscribers, but um, I, I really appreciate all of you. Thank you guys so much. So far this morning, we've just been taking care of the animals. We've got everything fed, we've got the eggs collected, and we even bed up some of the pens. Yesterday, we had like a freak storm just pop up. And we got a nice little rain. It's gonna help the crops out a lot. And right before it started raining, we actually got all of our rye straw baled. All together out of all that straw that we baled, we got 238 bales. We wanna get these wagons unloaded and out of the shop so that we have some room. So we're gonna be taking some of this straw and putting it on another wagon for selling up at the farm market. Now we are going to put the rest of that straw down in the barn for storage. The whole point of moving it to a smaller wagon was that when it rains, we can just put a smaller wagon away. We don't have to worry about backing one of the big ones in. We find ourselves in the shop right now because we're putting all of the seed together that we had originally got from Pioneer and we are sending it back. Now this process, it's a lot of numbers because you have to put all the batches together. You have to get all the select seed and put it on the same pallet together. So all of this stuff here wasn't used or sold, which means it's all going back. So that means it all needs to be stacked on pallets. We need to have all our paperwork in order to send everything back. those pallets I stacked out there, Pioneer keeps track of how many pallets you get. So if you don't return one of those pallets because they're special, they're bigger, uh, they charge you $40. So that's why we keep a close tab on them. We have to move a wagon of straw before we can get to the rest of the seed. I think there's only one more pallet back there. So we want to get this wagon of straw moved out. Once we're finished with the seed, we'll be able to unload it into the barn. Thank you for getting that out of my way. You got it. And there we have it. We've got everything moved around. Everything is sorted. Now dad has to go up to the house and he has to go on his computer and he has to make note of everything that we have here. When it comes to selling seed, it is a lot of manual and physical work with all the moving of the bags, but it's also a lot of paperwork. So dad's up there on his computer now. All right. From what I can see, our hay pile is still standing, which is very, 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 very good. Oh my word, look at this. Look at how big this cabbage is growing. It's amazing what some rain will do. Now, if you can't tell, you see there's no weeds over here. That's because dad went through and cultivated. Now look over here where we didn't get a chance to cultivate yet because our pipe is right here. You can see the weeds are really starting to come up. That looks like some good cabbage over there. Uh, we've got some broccoli coming some broccoli there. Look at our kale. That is some nice stuff. We probably should harvest some of that kale and take it back to the farm market. It looks really, really good. Hi, Andrew. How you doing? Okay, now I'm okay. I am supported by the wheels. It's not that bad of a climb. All right, it's time to stack straw. I don't think we'll get that high today. We've only got about a wagon and a half and they weren't stacked. Thank you. 
we got our first wagon put in here. Now when we're setting the bales in here, we're doing this method called stepping. So every once in a while, we won't have a bale running straight. We'll have it running sideways. And that's to tie in the whole stack because the last thing you want when this whole barn is full, as you're pulling bales out, you don't want them all to just start falling because that could be dangerous. So that's why we, every once in a while, we'll put a bale a different way just to tie everything and keep it tight. All the rice straw is stacked inside the barn. Wheat straw will be coming up very shortly. We are setting the amount of fertilizer that we're putting on to the acre. I'm going off based off the charts and the weight we know of the fertilizer. So we get the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash and sulfur that we need on our crop. So what we just loaded into the spreader was a 30, 10, 12, one mixture. Now the reason why it's blue, we have a coating on there to prevent evaporation. It is supposed to rain at around four today. We're supposed to get showers, but if we don't, then we're concerned the nitrogen could just evaporate into the air. So we have the blue coating on there to prevent that. I'm going to be grabbing the horse trailer and I'm heading up to our local feed supplier and I'm picking up um, our uh, feed order for the month for all the horses. The horses uh, have a different uh, requirement for their feed and uh, we don't have all the materials that's needed to give them their feed. Uh, so we can't really grind their feed like we can with the cattle. So we have to go out and buy the feed special because it has special nutrients added to it. Now we're using this fertilizer for a few different things. We have some hay ground that we need to spread fertilizer on. We have some vegetables that we're gonna be spreading fertilizer onto. We also have some pumpkin ground that we're getting ready. We're going to be planting pumpkins. And we're not just planting pumpkins, we're planting 41 different varieties. We sell a very wide variety of pumpkins for different needs, from pies to uh, ornaments and decorations. We have a finger planter, which um, is mechanically drops all the seeds in. So what the upside to that is, is we're able to adjust like how far apart we want everything. So these, we're gonna plant uh, every, what do we say, 12 inches or 14? 14 inches. Every 14 inches. So we got it set up uh, up here. We need the one that has 29 teeth on the front and the one that has 28 teeth in the back. We are gonna be planting outstanding pumpkin seeds. We have a few different variety of pumpkins that we're planting, starting off with our giant pumpkins that we have. This first variety is called Grower's Giant. Now here, I wanted to show you what that looks like. That is our grower's giant that we are planting. Now all of this pumpkin seed is coming from a company called Outstanding Seeds. Uh, they're based here in Pennsylvania. Uh, we started using them a few years ago and they work really, really good for us. So if you guys are interested in pumpkin seed, Outstanding Seeds. We just loaded up our planter with five different varieties of pumpkins. We have Benchmark, we have Denali, Conquest, Grower's Giant, and Checkmate. The reason why we started using Outstanding Seeds is because we kind of wanted to deal with someone a little more locally when it came to pumpkins. Outstanding Seeds is located right in Pennsylvania. And better yet, it's a family run company and we're happy to help out there because we know how it is to run a family business. Right now, Dad and I are walking behind making sure everything is planting okay. Everything seems to be doing good. We just want to make sure that it's getting down into the ground the ground's pretty hard right now. We haven't had too much rain. A couple varieties we are adding now are some more medium sized varieties. We have Edison. That is a really good variety that we like. Basically all the pumpkins that we plant are used for decoration. So we're looking for pumpkins with a nice stem on them and with a nice dark orange color. We've also got some other colorful pumpkins that we will be planting in here. Is this the way you plant pumpkins? I'm checking this. Now we're stopping quite often to change out seed because we only plant about five acres of pumpkins. So that's 41 varieties of pumpkins split out over five acres. So we do have to change seed quite often. Stop.
stopping for another seed change. I just put in some white pumpkins. Now we're moving on to a variety called Sugar Cup. And I don't have the book, so I can't tell you what Sugar Cup looks like. It's a pumpkin they use for pies. There you go, I know what that is. They're just smaller pumpkins. One thing we really have to watch out for because of the location where we planted our pumpkins is gonna be deer damage. We have a lot of deer in our local area and they love to eat pumpkins. And it wouldn't be a big problem, you know, if they found one pumpkin and they ate that pumpkin. But the big problem is where they go through, they take one bite, then they take another bite, then they take another bite. It, they're very destructive when it comes to pumpkins. Now when you look at this field over here, you have to be honest, it doesn't look the best. Now a few years ago this was planted in clover, but then we mowed the clover off and the following year we had wheat in it. After we harvested our wheat last year, the clover actually grew back up, so we didn't even have to plant a cover crop. As we've talked about in previous videos, clover adds a lot of nitrogen. And when we plant these pumpkins, they'll be able to grow on top of the clover. So after we plant these pumpkins, we're gonna come through and mow this, and then the pumpkins can grow on top and they can stay nice and clean for the customers. I don't know, what would you guys think if you saw two farmers riding out through the field on the back of a planter? I think they were planting pumpkins too. We moved over to another field because we ran out of room, but we just got all of our gourds, all of our pumpkins finally planted. My butt hurts from riding on that planter. I thought I had plenty of protection. I guess not. Time to feed horses. I just got done mowing the grass and now it's time to close up the farm market. Ooh. How'd you get so dirty today? I mowed the grass for you. Thank you. Don't you mean you mowed it for April? She doesn't mow grass anymore. What do you mean? She mowed grass last year. Somebody moved the seat, you can't reach the pedals. <laughs> Did you move the seat? No, I don't touch that thing. I'm heading out, we'll see you guys. As you can see, the grass, I mowed it. Oh, it looks pretty good in my opinion. All right, Grammy, what are we having for dinner tonight? We're having barbecue beef brisket. Baked asparagus, or roasted I should say, and mashed potatoes, and Strawberry shortcake. Woo! We've got the brisket, the asparagus, the potatoes, and as you heard Tracy screaming for, ooh. Yeah, so here's the thing. I saw strawberry shortcake. I ate strawberry shortcake. Uh, a lot of strawberry shortcake. And I forgot to end the video. So this is where we're gonna end the video. I wanna thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. -bye.